fascinating characterpedia sequence, Frankenstein's Monster. Frankenstein's monster is the main antagonist in Mary Shelley's novel Frankenstein and its plethora of adaptations. The monster was originally created in 1816, but made his first appearance on the 1st of January 1818 in the novel Frankenstein or the Modern Prometheus. The latter part of the original title was inspired by Greek mythology, where the titan Prometheus created humans in the image of the gods and gifted them with fire against the will of Zeus. As a result, Prometheus would be eternally punished by the god. Origins and History Frankenstein's monster was created on a rainy November night during the late 18th century in Ingolstadt, Germany by the medical student Victor Frankenstein. Frankenstein would create his monster by using materials from slaughter and charnel houses, as well as corpses stolen from cemeteries, including that of a recently executed murderer and other criminals such as thieves. Frankenstein would eventually run electricity via a lightning storm through the inert body giving it life. Disgusted by his abomination, Frankenstein would abandon the monster, who would flee to the wilderness to discover its true self. During this time, the monster would fend for itself, whilst frightening anyone it came into contact with. Eventually, the monster would seek shelter in a small hovel, and would learn to speak and read by observing the Lacey family through a hole in the wall. Whilst here, the monster grew fond of the poor family, and secretly performed tasks to help them. In time, the monster mustered enough trust to interact with the blind father of the de Lacey family, and the two developed a bond before his horrified children returned home and forced the monster out of the house. It was at this precise moment that the real monster was born, as the creature became enraged at how society treated him and swore vengeance on humanity, as well as Dr. Frankenstein. The creature began by setting fire to the home of the de Lacey family, killing them all. Despite this, the monster displayed his kindness again when he rescued a young girl from drowning before he was shot by her father, who assumed that it was trying to hurt his daughter. The monster would subsequently resume its path of destruction by strangling Dr. Frankenstein's younger brother William before framing Justine Moritz, the family servant, for his death. Upon confronting his creator in the Alps, the monster would force Frankenstein into creating him a female mate, and promise to disappear and never trouble humanity again if his demands were met. Despite initially agreeing, Frankenstein ceased production, fearing that this pairing could result in the propagation of a race of inhuman monstrosities. The watching monster became furious upon discovering this, and promised to sabotage the Doctor's wedding night. The monster would murder Frankenstein's new bride, Elizabeth Lavenza, by tearing her heart out of her chest, before also killing his best friend Henry Clerval. This sequence of events would also lead to the death of Frankenstein's father, who died of grief after Elizabeth's body was found. In other adaptations, Frankenstein resurrects Elizabeth as an undead creature, and the monster demands that Frankenstein give her to him, however she commits suicide after seeing her own hideous reflection. Either way, the enraged Frankenstein would pursue the monster to the Arctic, before being saved from the freezing waters by a ship heading for the North Pole. Victor would tell his story to the ship's captain, before dying of pneumonia. Shortly after, the monster would arrive on the scene, and gloat over Frankenstein's death, before feeling remorse for the demise of his creator, the only person who ever knew him. The lonely monster would promise to destroy himself on a funeral pyre, after reaching the pole, and would leave the ship in pursuit of his own destruction. Another version of this story sees the saddened monster attend Frankenstein's service, before the ice breaks, causing the monster to fall into the freezing water. The creature would refuse rescue, and declare that he was done with man, before swimming to Frankenstein's pyre, and burning it at himself simultaneously. Physical appearance. The monster has a terrifying zombie-like appearance, and is described as having black lips, black hair, watery white eyes, and yellow wrinkled skin, which barely covers his blood vessels. This imperfect form may be due to Dr. Frankenstein struggling to replicate the intricate details of the human body. As a result, this humanoid monstrosity of random body parts would be abnormally tall, standing at around 8 feet in height. This intimidating sight would horrify anyone who came into contact with it, as well as its creator, and even the monster itself, who was disgusted at its own reflection within a pool. This may be why the monster wears a jacket or black cloak and hood to conceal its frightening features. Personality traits. 
Surprisingly, the creature possessed similar emotions and desires to any other human, and was initially gentle and caring, offering help or assistance to anyone who should require it. In time, the monster would develop a hateful disposition due to his unfair treatment at the hands of humanity, who judged him solely on his grotesque appearance. To further compound his pain, the monster would be rejected by his creator, who refused to give him a name. Instead, Frankenstein would refer to the creature with derogatory terms such as monster, creature, demon, devil, fiend, and it. This treatment would affect the creature's mental state, as it would later self-deprecate, calling itself a fallen angel, as opposed to Adam, the first man in the Garden of Eden. This mental torture would eventually lead the monster to villainy, as it would live up to its aliases. Ultimately, society's fear and rejection of the creature would cause him to become disillusioned and depressed with life. However, the monster did not necessarily hate mankind, but became distrustful of people, living as a pariah and only harming others in self-defense. On the other hand, the monster did develop an abject hatred for Victor Frankenstein, who he held directly responsible for his lonely and pitiful existence. As a result, the monster would take his rage out on his creator, attempting to cause suffering to Frankenstein and those he held dear. Despite its predatory appearance, the monster was depicted as a vegetarian in the novel, eating berries, nuts and vegetation. Powers and abilities. Superhuman strength. The creature possessed augmented strength due to his muscle mass and size, standing at around 8 feet tall. This would give him the ability to crush a cottage or tear a man limb from limb with ease. His strength extended to his legs, allowing him to leap across distances that would prove impossible for a regular human. Superhuman speed and agility. The creature was more flexible than a regular man, and fast enough to outrun a stag, which can run up to speeds of 70 km an hour. Superhuman durability. The creature's bones and muscles are denser than those of a human, allowing him to sustain damage that would prove fatal to a human. Furthermore, he could withstand being in the Arctic with no discomfort for prolonged periods. Virtual self-sustenance. Despite its large size, the creature could sustain itself with minimal amounts of food and water for long periods. Superhuman stamina. The creature was virtually immune to fatigue. It could scale the 4,524-foot Mount Salev in a short period of time without stopping or swim across the English Channel without rest. Healing Factor and Immortality In creating the creature, Victor had hoped to banish disease from the human frame and render man invulnerable to any but a violent death. In this aspect, Frankenstein may have succeeded as the creature could rapidly heal from physical damage and recover from a gunshot wound within a few weeks without medical attention. This may be attributed to his creation from the corpses of others, giving him immunity to aging and illness. However, it could also be that the monster is merely biologically immortal, as he could be destroyed via burning or massive force. Intelligence. Despite his neglect, the monster was surprisingly articulate, capable of self-educating, cunning, and strategizing. The creature was able to read a variety of lengthy books and learn to speak multiple languages in a short space of time. Weaknesses. Frankenstein's monster seems to be physically durable, but mentally vulnerable, turning his rage both inwards and outwards when victimized. Enemies. Dr. Victor Frankenstein. The rejection of the monster by society would lead to its depression and loneliness, which would manifest itself in an abject hatred for its creator. Its disdain for Frankenstein would see the monster cause harm to the Doctor and those whom he held dear. Humanity. The monster is generally afraid of people, due to society's judgmental prejudice against him based solely on his grotesque appearance. Despite this, he does not hate humanity, but generally avoids humans, only retaliating in self-defense. This file terminates here. End sequence.